Alright, what's up guys, I'm back again for you the, another tutorial, and it's how to put an image or uh, a video inside your text, so it'll, it'll give a cool effect like this. Um, it's pretty fast, I try to make it fast, and I just got paid by Google, so expect a bunch of tutorials uh, soon, so yeah. Okay, so first things first, you want to open up Sony Vegas, and when you do that, you want to go down to Media Generators right here. You want to scroll all the way down until you see Titles and Text. Get this, click it, drag it down, and here it is. Then you want to change the text to whatever you want. So, I'm going to say, then I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to change the font so we can see it. You want to change the font to whatever you want. Uh, I'll pick, not, unless you want that font, you can. I'll pick, uh, to whatever. I'll pick this font. So this is my font I picked. Um, okay, now to get the image inside the text or the effect inside the text, what you want to do is right click right here, insert new video track, then you want to go back to project media, up here to import media, go to the folder where or the place where you want to insert your picture or video, here's the picture I'm going to use, I'm going to drag this down to this top, the track on top of my text, I see it, and then I'm going to click this little green button right here, and click multiply mask and there it is the pictures inside the text the thing is uh, you see how it's cut off here since the image was cut off by itself it'll cut off the image inside the text so on the right click if you ever had that problem if it's cut off uh, just right click and click properties then click uncheck maintain aspect ratio then it'll like stretch out but if you don't really care uh, you shouldn't care because it's going inside the text um, this also works for videos and effects too. So if I insert this crazy video right here, uh, I'll click no. It'll be inside the text, but if I look at the video, it's a crazy cool effect, right? But if I do it, it'll be inside the text and it'll look pretty cool. Okay, so once you have your text, uh, your effect text with your effect inside the text, your picture inside the text, and you want to put that over a video, uh, you're gonna have you're gonna run into a problem. So if I put this video that I have right here, it's for, and I make it like how the way I want to, you're gonna run a pro you're gonna run into this problem where it's all dark and stuff, and you can see both uh, the things. So what you want to do is you want to delete your video. You can see this right here. You see your text effect. Just by itself, you want to render it. So we highlight it, best full file, render as, um, and then I'm going to put text effect uh, render, or whatever you want to render it as, and put it in your folder where you can find it, and click render. And then you wait until it's done. And I'll probably fast forward it until it's done. Once your text effect is done rendering, you're going to want to open file, or you're going to import it so you want to find it again and I put it in the same folder and you're going to want to put your video back on the timeline where you want it you're going to delete your effects that you have right here and then make sure you go back to this green layer and then click source alpha and then you're going to drag your new rendered video which is your effect on it and then you're going to be stuck with a black screen because you render it with a black screen so what I like to do is I like to go to video effects and chroma key here. Um, yeah, search at chroma key here. Hold on, my computer is being really slow right now. Bear with me. Dang, it's really slow. Okay, so you want to search at video effects and then chroma key here. Click the default and then click this little uh, blue bar click this little pin type to store and click the black and then you should be good so the text is over the video uh, and that's pretty much how you do it you can also click bonus tip you can also not do that you can click the green button again and click add but I don't like doing that because uh, it kind of you can kind of see through the text instead of it actually being like cut out with the text being over it but yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I'll probably see you guys again soon. So, later.